We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with MU Online Stock, Mullen Automotive Inc. Doing a full transition today from the dip area to the rip area here in the after hours on 42 Vision. And MU Online Stock was not the only stock experiencing volatility and trying to push up higher. The overall market in the SPY did as well. And our SPY bot at 10.15 a.m sent out a bull indicator and from that moment forward inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside full strength there on 42 vision and call options went up 300 percent plus within hours guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with FMU online stock doing this full transition in today's volatility we need to talk about the bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow and what it is i would watch going into next week but before we do i want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the home run of the day was from our tesla bot our tesla bot sent out a bull indicator at 10 10 a.m and from that moment forward inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside full strength there on 42 vision and call options went up 150 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with femi online stock mullen automotive inc doing a full transition as i stated earlier in the video from the dip area into the rip area after doing a full transition yesterday from the rip area into the dip area on 42 vision and if this is your first time coming across the channel this is 42 vision which allows us to see the dips from the rips the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with femi online stock mullen automotive inc under the 15 minute chart frame here with a bull indicator popping up in the after hours and inflows crossing back over the midpoint today within the volatility here at around the 10 cent area and hitting a high here in the after hour so far of 1017 right not that far from the pre-market highs of 1024 and where the rejections happened yesterday here based off the 15 minute where it double topped there and it went lower now we need to talk about what's going on here in the bigger picture because on the 30 minute we do not have the inflows back over the midpoint but they have switched from red to green and they've been green for the last three days try and approach closer to the midpoint here and if it could cross over it that strength could possibly start to reflect pretty quickly into the chart but we are still under a bear indicator up here since the 13 cent area we're rejected the next morning in the pre-market and opening bell and things pulled down pretty fast to the 10 cent area so that bear indicator needs to get canceled with a possible bull indicator we talked about this in yesterday's video and we hit 
the Wirefred border area once again after hitting it on Monday and Tuesday, right in the after hours and pre-market. Yesterday we reached it and today we're pulling away from it again, but not that far from it. But the lowest point was 9 cent area. So I'm going to share with you guys what are the key levels I would watch going into next week and how crucial these inflow versus outflows will be moving forward because when you zoom out and we look at this from the one hour we could see here how things have been read all this time right the last time inflows actually crossed over it was last year in october when fintel data and ortex data was showing that shorts seemed to have been covering because the short interest was going lower while the stock was going higher right when it went from around 20 cents all the way up to the 40 cent area pulled back to the 30 cent area and pulled up to highs here of 64 cents hitting highs here of inflows on the one hour chart of 0.15 now on the one hour we have been under a bear indicator here since up here at around the area of 13 cents as well but the outflows have been dominating all throughout the volatility that we've seen throughout this year right every single time we went up in previous videos i talked about how these inflows need to cross over if not within the volatility we would see things pull right back down like it did because those inflows never crossed now within the movement there could have been some shorts getting squeezed out of positions but not enough to create inflows to go higher and cross the midpoint to start dominating within the charts and here we are in the most recent run from 9 cents all the way up to 13 16 cent area on these two dates it did not cross over yes it got a bull indicator yes it did a full transition from the dip to the rip area of white referred borders to bright green bars but no inflows over the midpoint outflows continue to dominate and it's going to be crucial for these inflows to pick back up and at least head towards the midpoint guys and switch from red to green to start trying to reflect some of that strength into the charts as we see it right and in the process possibly get a bull indicator and cancel out this bear indicator but right now outflows are dominating and we are here fighting to see if the 10 cent area holds right the bulls are putting up a fight here trying to hold itself up to not retest the 52 week lows and the lows that we've seen recently right so here we are with the 10 cent area trying to hold on the 30 minute inflows are green but below the midpoint and on the 15 minute we just got a bull indicator and these inflows are above the midpoint it's going to be crucial for these inflows to continue to push up higher to reflect that strength and hold true this bull indicator and cancel out this bear indicator and the first support level i would watch is the nine cent area then below that is the eight cent area and then below that level comes the five cent area now to the upside if this strength continues on the 15 minute and can roll over into the 30 minute get it back over the midpoint cancel this bear indicator get that strength to reflect into the chart and get a bull indicator in the process the first resistance is 12 cent area and then above that comes the 15 cent area those are the key levels i'm watching to the downside and to the upside and we want these inflows to cross over not just on the 15 minute but here on the 30 minute and eventually start to pull up the one hour with it towards the midpoint guys to eventually end up going from red to green and closer to the midpoint so these are the key levels i'm watching to the upside and to the downside i'm gonna watch these inflow versus outflows very carefully as they're getting pretty close here on the 30 minute and on the 15 minute it has actually crossed and it's above it it's a pretty close one here needs to continue pushing higher just got a bull indicator canceling yesterday's bear indicator and that's going to be crucial and i'm going to watch the bull and bear indicators as well if one can pop up here on the 30 minute to cancel out this bear indicator from way up here at around the 13 cent area from march 31st as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.